that A, I did not sign any documents for a change in policy. Okay? And she's saying she, that she already did it and that she was going to have to undo it if I don't do it. Strike one. Okay? That's how much I have to pay now. It's in writing. Okay? That's not how much they charged me or pro prorated me when I canceled them. Strike two. She knows in detail that I'm going to pick up coverage from State Farm and that she's my sister. Strike three. And so she knows also that before canceling my policy on the 22nd that I have not made a decision or canceled my policy with them or even had State Farm pick me up. Okay, so all these things were uh, pertinent to the fact that I said that this girl at J.R. Hawley Agency knew that my intent was to cancel on the 26th when I sent the fax. And all state would not fix it. They would not fix it, would not fix it. And then she started lying about it, stating that they called me to make sure that I wanted my policy canceled on the 21st because I put the 21st under her direction on the on the uh, cancellation letter and that um <clears throat> or the 26th but she knew she knew everything on the 22nd so the fact that they backdated my coverage was a malicious move. And they never even sent any documentation. See, this is the online. And after I canceled it, she says, if you don't sign, I'm going to have to put it back to the old way, to the higher amount. Well, I sent, and so I signed the documents and uh, sent them to her. And look, policy change. And after I did it, policy change. She changed it back anyways. Okay. And so I go to the Department of Insurance and I ask them, I put in a complaint. And the reason why they said that this is the reason for the uh, date that they canceled was because in my letter I hand wrote the date the 21st. And, it, and then I said, well, here's the cancellation of confirmation cancellation, January 27th. I've canceled your policies as requested. We're sorry to lose you as our customer. Hope that you will allow us the opportunity to win you back at a future date. Have a nice one. Have a wonderful day and the rest of your week. Okay? And I said, well, if that whole pigeon holds me to that date, then this should pigeon hold you guys to that date of cancellation. And their excuse was that it didn't say effective as of the 27th. I said, well, neither does mine. Okay. And this is their response. From Miss Emily Schwartz, I want to make sure that this woman gets credit for every single solitary unfair, deceptive um, 
fraudulent line of crap and everything that is that has happened to me she is ultimately responsible for okay she's the customer care analyst okay she's the one that had the power to uh, look at the documents and fix it she didn't do one thing okay she's a liar and this insurance company does not lose and the fact of the matter is, they didn't even lose. It was not one, this would not have cost them one penny to correct. Okay? They backdated my coverage, sent a letter to DMV, my registration was suspended, and in order to get it back, I have to do, try to get a hearing now, and uh, convince them of what they did. And hopefully they're not going to be closed-minded and just think that what they did is okay. Because the fact is, is that up until the very second that I put that fax in and hit send, those days of the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th were gone. And at that moment, those four 24-hour periods, my vehicles were covered by all state insurance and that's a fact of life so this is um, Emily Schwartz's response this is the letter this letter being provided to you response in response to your letter dated April 1st 2016 which was received in our Southwest region office on April 12th 2016 we appreciate the opportunity <laughs> right to review Miss Birch's concerns in Ms. Birch's complaint, she states that the date she wanted her Allstate agency to cancel her policy was the date she faxed it, January 26, 2016, not the date that was written on the letter, January 21, 2016. On January 26, 2016, Michelle Birch's Allstate agency received a fax from Ms. Birch requesting to cancel both her auto policy and our homeowners insurance policy. I have enclosed for you your review, uh, I have, which I have enclosed for your review. The letter is dated January 21st, 2016. Upon receipt of the fax, the agency attempted to via phone to reach Ms. Birch to confirm the termination, termination date. They did not receive a call back, so on the following day, they followed normal process to terminate both auto and homeowner's policies, effective on the date on the letter, January 21st. Unfortunately, Allstate will be unable to extend coverage on the policy as there was no agency error. Okay, they're not extending anything. I had paid for that month. Okay, they make it sound like I hadn't even paid. But I had paid for a month. I paid for a month and some other crap. Okay. Okay, and then on March 3rd, because I'm talking to uh, Janet, she sends me a copy that she got. And she did, and she doesn't include the other three pages. Attaches your request that was sent to cancel your policy. The date on the request is also your renewal date. So unless a payment was made, we could have not canceled it on any other date. I would check and see if. State Farm is able to backdate coverage. Unfortunately, we are not able to change the effective date of the cancellation due to the date on the request and the fact that it is also your renewal date. Okay, so my renewal date has always been January 11th and July 11th okay here it is again July 11th 
through January 11th. There it is. Yet they sent a cancellation notice in December. And it was paid. This was paid. For 10 years, January 11th and July 11th have been my six-month renewal dates for 10 years. Okay? Now, this is all they re refunded me. 163. Okay? I should have gotten back. Okay. So, six month quote on January 22nd. If I paid that, the prorated amount per day would have been $5.90. Or $59 for 10 days when canceled on the 21st. So I should have gotten a prorated back of $216.33 refund. And they gave me back $163. Okay? That's if they canceled me on the 21st. If they canceled me on the 26th, I would have paid $82.60. And my refund should have been $192.73. Okay, so not only did they not refund me the right amount, they did not refund me. I paid for the days that they backdated me. The nerve, man. The nerve. <laughs> So there's my renewal premium. But after the change of policy, it went from that to the thousand ninety seven ninety two. Okay, so I put it into the division of insurance my complaint and this woman responds to this. Dear Ms. Birch, based on reply from the insurer, it appears that they uphold their decision to cancel your policy on the date they received the fax request. The date they received the fax request. Okay? So... That would be the 26th, right? According to their response, they tried to contact you. Subsequent to the request to clarify your cancellation date, and there was no response from you. Like, I just didn't bother to respond, okay? I pulled my phone records, sent it to them. They didn't try to call me. No incoming phone call, no message, no nothing. So that was a big fat lie. It, but I do show um, me calling her and talking to her 55 minutes on the 21st. And she had perfectly, uh, she was in perfect understanding as to what my needs were. And it wasn't to be canceled early and backdate my coverage. Because the division could not identify any violations pertinent